this game actually looks kind of cool. I started this up yesterday, as you can see from the continue here, and I got through like the tutorial-ish mission, um, and it looks actually pretty fun. So we'll try it out, see how it is. Hopefully it's good. Anyway, here we go. Uh, I think that's the, the start. So we're gonna go... I think we're just gonna keep the difficulty how it is. I think the game's supposed to be pretty hard. Like, this is the way it's meant to be played. According to the difficulty description, use tactics or die. So, we'll see. This is all fine, I think. The English is a bit... It, it, yeah. I mean, it's fine, but it's not perfect. So, just bear that in mind. This, the, this story takes place as we live today, in a universe reminiscent, but vastly different from our own. Humanity has spread to the four corners of the galaxy. We've subjugated all life. And yet we are far from secure, obviously. War brews from the northern quadrant of the galaxy. Pact, the People's Alliance has toppled the once mighty new empire. Was there an old empire? Led by a mysterious individual known only as Venixar Arcadius? No idea how to say that. Pax seeks to subjugate the galaxy under its new world order. Distant from the brewing clouds of war, the neutral world of Sera seemed safe from the approaching Pact war machine. It is on this quiet world where our journey begins. Captain Kaito Shield? Kaito Shields? Looked out the window of his orbital shuttle. Below him, he could see the glittering orb that was his home, Sarah. Beyond it, a vast sea of stars stretched on for as far as his eyes could see. <laughs> really made that. Shields leaned forward on his seat. Man, his game volume is really loud. Can I turn this down? Oh no. Uh, preferences. Turn this down a bit. Just a little bit. Probably just exactly the same. All right, we'll, keep, we'll try that. Um, Shields leaned forward on his seat and spoke to his pilot. The pilot was obscured by his seat, and Shields could only hear his burly voice humming to the tiny to the teeny radio. Uh, how much further until we get there? This is main character. Just a moment now. <laughs> should I should I have a burly voice? No. Just a moment now. Can't wait until you meet your girl, can you, sir? I haven't seen Ava since we were in high school. I doubt she even remembers me. The commander? Psh, not her. I meant, I mean the Sunrider, the newest ship in the fleet. I really, so I've seen the ship already, I got past the tutorial in, in a in a bit. I think the ship actually looks pretty cool. I like the design of the ship, so I agree with the pilot. Uh, here, let me turn this ship around and give you a view. Shields leans, that's a weird name. Shields leaned uh, against his window and laid his eyes on the Sunrider. These cannons? That's super cool. I like it's like sleek. It's got this uselessly raised bridge, but still aesthetically looks cool. Colossal in size, but still sleek looking. The shields. Oh, see, his name is weird. Shields found her to his liking. The behemoth vessel struck a deadly image like a poised arrowhead at the ready. Like, so this is what I'm talking about a bit about the English. Like, arrowhead? You don't. Like a poised arrow, maybe? You don't. You don't ready arrowheads. You ready the whole arrow. Uh, I there, have a look at her. So advanced that the brass needed to train a new line of officers to fly her. She looks like a fine vessel. Just hang tight, Captain. Won't be long now. The shuttle continued its docking approach. Shield sat tight as the shuttle neared the Sunrider and docked. Uh, after exiting the shuttle, Shields walked through the airlock and entered the Sunrider's hangar. Captain on deck. That's right, salute. Welcome aboard, Captain. First Officer Ava Crescentia, reporting for duty. At ease, Commander. Give me a report of Sunrider's status. We've been working for the past two weeks, testing our systems. She's prepped to go on your word, sir. Good. <laughs> That's what he said, too. Good. It sounds like High Command wants us to out of here ASAP. Uh, tell me more about the Sunrider. She's the newest, fleet, no, newest ship in the fleet. She's armed like a warship, but built like a carrier. I guess we're in the, the hangar right now. I like... I th so I think this game has mechs. It has starships. Pretty cool. So I'm, I'm excited to, to play, try it out. 
Uh, we can field up to 12 riders, which I believe are the mechs. I haven't, I haven't gotten there. The, I only got past, like, the very first little battle, which just uses the ships. So you don't actually get the mechs. So I haven't seen the mechs, but I think, I think riders are mechs. Uh, and also provide capital ship support for them. Your biggest asset is the Vanguard Cannon. They took a gun from a battleship class war, a battleship class warship, modified it extensively, and put it on top of our ship. Still, it works like a charm and can rip holes through the sh through ships over twice as big as ours. Not only that, but the Sunrider can be flown with a crew of just 50 and has one of the most efficient warp drives in the fleet. Would we'll be able to jump across the galaxy in just days. Sounds like a fine vessel. Uh, what's this orange alert? Uh, don't tell me you don't know. Reinar, Reinar's. Reinar surrendered to the Pact just this morning. Already. There's another neutral world. That's another neutral world that's been taken by Pact. Not that Pact, just Pact. Uh, not only that, but Pact's uh, taken Minerva, Barona, and Gerald in the past three months. Uh, one neutral planet after another. What do you think that means? Encirclement. We're next. Exactly, so that's why High Command's not taking any risks. If any hostiles enter our gravity well, we're to open fire first and ask questions later. How do you know they're hostiles? Do they announce? Hello. <laughs> we're here to raid and generally pillage. Please shoot. What's our next agenda? First, a tour of the ship. Oh, good. <laughs> he sounds thrilled. As you've noticed, this is Sunrider's hangar. We can store up to 12 riders in here. Again, assuming that's a mech. Uh, I don't see any riders here. Where are they now? We won't be receiving them until Wednesday. Once they're here, though, you'll be able to access them and order equipment changes here. This is an interactive map of the Sunrider. You can use it to navigate around the ship. We're going to head up to, bri to the bridge uh, up above us on deck one. Above us. Okay. So we're on deck zero. Try using the map to navigate there. Make sure you click on the deck tab one first. Oh yeah, deck zero. Wait, no. Deck two. Okay. So it goes... So deck zero is the top. The captain's quarters, sick bay, mess hall. And then the bridge. Wait, so the captain's quarters is above the bridge? I'm assuming the bridge is in the little rays. This looks kind of like the little rays section. Which means, where's this? I'd like an outside look at the ship again. Like, where's this little section? Which is a, somehow above the top. What I assumed was the top. And the deck 2 is just the hangar. Alright. This is the Sunrider's main bridge. This is where you'll be commanding the ship. It's a pretty fancy star map in the middle. What what star map? I'm assuming it's just like going to be like a X, XCOM style galaxy map. Uh, you can use that star map to plot our course and warp uh, and to warp to other systems. I'll also usually be here if you ever need me. <laughs> How come she's like always mad? Like look. I haven't, why, why are you mad? I haven't done anything. This is engineering. The ship's main reactor is located here. Is this the reactor? Uh, and we can also use the lab to research and construct new equipment. That sounds cool. Unfortunately, the research lab's not open yet. Not yet open. Uh, that's also going to be available on Wednesday. Correct. Okay. Mess hall. This is the ship's mess hall. We can come down. Down. I'm confused about the layout of the ship. <laughs> we can come down here to eat and relax after work. Sounds good to me. The captain's quarters. Pretty nice room, actually. Finally, these are your personal quarters. Looks like I've moved up in life. Wow, it's almost like a loft in Sarah City. Like, I like this, like, little reading area, I guess, up here. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, please don't mess up your room too much, Captain. I've already got some ideas on how to redecorate it. Oh, that was me. Uh, you can uh, you can come here to access your personal logs and other material. Furthermore, if a member of the crew needs your help with something, they'll be waiting outside of your door. You can use your map to walk around the ship. Uh, you're encouraged to interact with the crewmates whenever possible. All right, a happy ship makes for a strong ship. <laughs> is that an expect? Is that a saying? I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, and that concludes our tour. Like I said, I'll be in the bridge most of the time, so you can come here. You can come to me if you need help. What's next? I'm afraid we'll have to cut for uh, the formality short, Captain. Like I said, command wants us to out of the dry dock as soon as possible. We're scheduled for our first live engine test. We'll be sailing port, whatever that means, shortly. 
and making one loop around the moon. Fine with me. Let's turn to the bridge and see what the Sunride is capable of. <laughs> like, weird transition to the bridge. All hands, this is your captain speaking. Man your stations, activate the main reactor, and light the engines. Momentarily, we'll begin a live test of our engines by sailing port again. I should look this up, I don't know what that means. And making one round to the moon. We are to enter orange alert as soon as we clear port, raise shield, and scan for any possible hostiles. I know this is just a test, but, please, uh, but keep your guard up. I want everyone to be on their feet in case you run into any problems. Main reactor is coming awake, Captain. Power is increasing. Wake our lady up, Ava. We're getting out of here. Aye, sir. Helmsman, light the engines. Engineering reports the reactor is working within parameters. Power is increasing to the engines. Blast off in three. Two. Ugh. <laughs> what the hell was that? Checking status. Engineering reports the reactor core is still stable. No explosions reported in either deck zero or two. Captain, the only place that blast could have come from is outside. Outside. As in, uh, contact. Packed warp signatures detected. It's weird with no music. What? Missile boats that jumped in right under our noses. Red alert. Cancel the engine test. Hi, Captain. All hands battle stations. This is not a drill. This is turning out to be one hell of a maiden flight, Ava. Er, maiden flight. Ava, what's our weapon status? Limited. The Vanguard cannon is still offline. Isn't that one word? Uh, we have flak turrets, saviors, what? Uh, and a few shots of hell darts. I think hell darts are the missiles? Captain, you're not seriously thinking of taking the Sunrider into battle, are you? We haven't even completed any of our engine tests, much, le much less any munition checks. No time like the present, Ava. And from the sound of things, I don't think Pack's gonna wait for us to finish our tests. Get the ship operational double time. Aye, sir. Helmsman, all power to engines. Warning, we have... We have inbound one enemy. We have one enemy inbound? An enemy missile frigate took aim at the Sunrider. Captain Shields gritted his teeth as the Sunrider's engines sparked back to life. Painfully slowly. Ava! Simultaneously, the frigate launched a swarm of missiles at the Sunrider. Her engines roared to life, launching, lurching the ship forward. These guns are so cool. Uh, the missile struck the dry dock's supports exactly as the Sunrider flew out of the rest resulting fireball. Behind her, the dry dock collapsed in a chaos of steel and fire. Captain Shields uh, breathed a sigh of relief while Ava looked utterly unaffected by the peril they were just in because they did not want to give her a new expression. We're in the clear. Sunrider is joining the fleet. Fire weapons. Take these bastards out. Battle station. Alright. Welcome to the tactical screen. From here you can issue orders to the battle. Uh, in fact, you see a battle grid. The grid shows where friendlies and enemies are positioned on the battlefield. You may click and drag. The left mouse button move the camera around the battle grid. Further, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, to issue an order to any uh, to a unit. So select a unit under your command, indicated by the blue ring. Uh, this blue ring, I guess? And that's the red ring for enemies. Uh, then you may uh, either order the unit to move to another grid or to use an attack. Moving and attacking expends energy. Each unit has a finite number of energy points. This is all pretty basic. It's basic action points. Uh, once all the units under command is blah. Packed units, red ring, I guess. Uh, your current objective is to limit all packed units on the map. The summoner under the comprehensive suite of weapons to fill this task. So laser-based weapons have the longest range, but deal little damage. Kinetic weapons, which I believe are the gun, gun turrets, um, the cool ones, uh, have short range but pack a punch, and missile-based weapons have long range and high firepower, but are limited in supply, so it must be used wisely. Use Sunrider's weapons to eliminate the pack missile frigates. Good luck, Captain. Um, all right, so. I have done this little tutorial battle already. Um, so this is the energy here. So we have 100, and you can see like, lasers cost 70, the turrets cost 70, assault, which I think is like the flak cannons from missiles, that costs 30. So let's, let's just laser this Charge guy. Trinity. 
But I think I need to save... I think I need to save... Uh, energy for to... Okay. I need to go. Okay, I think I need to save energy for this. So we'll go ahead and just end turn. So let's see. Is it gonna? Three intercepted. Our hold is holding. That's how you. That's how much it intercepts if you don't save any. So I'm guessing we don't actually. We don't need to save energy. They just automatically intercept. One intercepted. What? That's not good. Okay. Okay, see here's the right here's the bridge, presumably. Is that the window to the captain's quarters that we saw out? So like I guess the decks on the screen aren't actually in the order that they are on the ship. Okay, so saving energy did nothing. All systems are green. So we can move once and still shoot the lasers. I wanna save the missiles. Commencing fire! Because we only have one. It's unfortunate. Go ahead and turn. Four intercepted. Our hole is beginning to fracture. I guess it's a little bit random. Do we get repaired at the end of this? I don't remember. I guess it's an average of two, uh, three intercept missing missiles intercepted. Like I'm already. I'd like to do this without the missiles. Yes, so we'll go ahead and move and laser him. Commencing fire. On target. So he's dead. I like the graphics, I gotta say. Like it's simple, but I, I don't know, I think it works. So ideally he'll move in one, we'll move in one, and then we'll get to hit him with the kinetic. Because the kind of like the guns are what why I decided to play this. Like those shot off, and I was like, man, that's cool. These guns here. Hull breaches on deck zero. So let's go ahead and advance. We the enemy face to face. Sixty percent chance. So let's not do that. No, no, stop. Let's laser first, because if I remember correctly from when I did this yesterday. Uh, when the kinetic hits, it doesn't actually do quite enough to kill it. So, oh, whoops. The attack is successful. Well, I mean, not what I wanted to do. I clicked laser, didn't I? Why did we? What? That was this, wasn't it? Whatever. Let's take another hit here. Not the best. Oof. Our systems are catastrophically failing one by one. <laughs> she sounds really panicked. Okay. So we'll go ahead. We will engage the enemy move in. Face face. And we're gonna shoot. That's super cool. Boom. On target. Oh, really? Really? See, if those laser if that had been a laser hit last turn, we would have won on that turn. So instead we're gonna just take another hit. But we're fine. She's breaking apart, Captain. It's okay. We still have some health. Calm down. So we're gonna laser. We're we're gonna All laser. Are green. Commencing fire. Yeah. See, that's what it should have done. We have struck the enemy. We did have to pay for the repair. Not the best. We didn't use our missiles though. Our forces are pushing the remaining packed units back. The packed frigates are no longer a threat. Join the rest of our fleet. Let's pitch in with the mop up operation. Aye, Captain. Two missile cris uh, two missile frigates down with hardly a scratch. Not bad for my first command, huh, Ava? Hm. Charge up the Trinities again. Let's give the rest of those missile frigates a parting gift before they warp out of Sarah. Aye, Captain. Charging Trinities. I think those are the lasers. Uh, they must have been trying to warp in missile frigates and take out our ships before we could respond. Given how small the attacking force was though, I'd say the entire operation was... Alert, new contact on scanner. More missile frigates? No, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. So 
Sweet mother of god. What is that thing, Ava? I don't remember pack having anything that colossal. I'm just getting intel from HQ. It's the packed Super Dreadnought class Warship Legion. Over three kilometers in length. As an American, no idea how long that is. It could be three inches. could be 3,000 miles. No idea. Armed with enough guns to take down... <laughs> Take down a, a, flat, a fleet three times our size by itself. That thing's... That guy. We'll just call him Arcadius. That thing's Arcadius's personal flagship. HQ has issued a general retreat. All units are to fall back. The Prime Minister's office has been advised to issue an immediate and unconditional surrender. Retreat? It's already over? It's over already, I should say. Uh, warning, I'm detecting a massive power surge coming from it. Wait, brace for impact. What disgusting firepower. Battleships Gallant and the Bohemian Maiden have been sunk. Do you sink spaceships? I'm not sure about that. The Fearless has sustained severe damage. Hull breaches reported in, on section 34A. Our port trinities are no longer oper operative. Break away, our ship doesn't stand a chance against that. The enemy warship is powering its weapons again. I think this is kind of like the cannon that we have on the front of our ship that we couldn't use. R report: The warships nuked Sarah City with that last. Whoops, with that last shot. I'm still trying to figure out the scope of the damage, but unbelievable to use a weapon of that magnitude on a civilian target. More than a million civilians have been lost. I guess it's just once again. Uh, all contact has been lost with our civilian and military leadership. The rest of the Saris, uh Space Force is scattering. We're going to get overwhelmed if we don't get out of here. What are your orders, Captain? Captain. Sun Rider began to pound as more enemies arrived. Why? Uh, shields wiped sweat from his brows and saw that his hand was soaked. That I did not read that very well. Yeah, okay, you can go back. Oh, wait is his brows. Isn't it just your brow? Not sure. Uh, the pounding wasn't coming from the enemy. It was his own heart. Fall back. Fall back. Warp the nearest safe harbor. Understood. Navigator, punch in the fallback coordinates uh, into English. Uh, into the computer. Spool up the warp drive and prepare to jump. Shields took a final look at his burning home world. This wasn't the end. He was going to be back no matter the cost. So I think this gun here, in the way, Ava, is like a similar type big old laser. Warp out in three, two. I think that's the main character as well. I like, I like the silver hair. Silver hair, good look. Warp. No music. All right. Shields sat at his office, writing his daily log. It's been a week since the fall of Sarah. Despite our best efforts, we have been unable to regroup uh, with the rest of the Sarah Space Force. The crew is starting to fear that we may be the only ones who got out of that massacre in one piece. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to believe that too. What is this a picture of? <laughs> like a woman in like a caveman? Outfit? Like, are those furs? Like, what? It's just like a building. I guess of Sarah. Although it just looks like Earth. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, or what the next step... To, or what next step to take. All I know is that we're going to be alone from now. From now on, surely. Uh, the doorbell interrupted Shield's thoughts. Come in. I guess they still call them the doorbells? It's probably more like a, a buzzer or something. Captain. Any news of the fleet? None. Dots. Uh, the crew's beginning to get worried. We've been doing nothing but scanning for the past week. If a packed force finds us, we're sitting ducks here. Uh... Should we stop looking? 
Yeah, it's probably not gonna be alive. Uh, what's left of our government surrendered and was dissolved six days ago. I don't think there's any hope in looking for our military anymore. Ava, tell me something. What's a ship without a flag? Sir? Well, a pirate ship. I don't really want to be a pirate. I don't intend on becoming a pirate captain. I wasn't suggesting we turn to piracy. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I guess we kind of forced that question on her. Remember, Ava, the Sunrider will always be carrying the flag of Sarah. So what are you suggesting? Pact won't get away with what they did to our home. We're going to take the fight to them. With just our one ship? We'll find allies. We're not the only neutral world to have been conquered by them. We find others like us. Build a fleet together. And then we take all of our planets one by one. Hmm, I suppose you're, you've already got a plan? Just like old times. Uh, it's a good thing they put me as your first officer. I don't even want to imagine how much trouble you'd cause if I weren't here to clean up after you. Okay? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Uh, come on now, is that all you can remember of me from high school? Well, I do recall that you were certainly one of the most frustrating youths for a student council president to have to deal with. Remember that time you installed an anti-gravity device in the student council room? You just, is that something that just, that high school students just have access to? Anti-gravity devices? It was impossible getting everything cleaned up afterwards. Oh, that little thing, come on, you had a good laugh afterwards, didn't you? No. She's, she's not impressed. In the meantime, what are your orders? Uh, we'll warp to the nearest neutral planet of Tidaria. Chances are, after the fall of Sarah, they'll be more uh, they'll be more than likely to be jittery about Pact. Understood. The ship uh, will be prepared to warp at your command. How are we doing? She's had better days. We had to sail port again. What does this mean? Uh, before we could finish uh, any of our tests, our missiles are empty and our vanguard cannons cannons multiple? I thought it was just a one big laser. Are still offline. And that's not even the worst. We had to leave Sarah before we could pick up any of our riders. Which are the mechs, I think. Not only that, uh, but we're missing our chief engineer and our doctor. Both research and development and the sick bay are still dark. Uh, if you try to make do with what we have, we'll have to resupply and finish our tests at Tidaria. On that note, I have one more issue. Running a ship is going to take money. I've looked into some ways to raise some immediate cash. The various galactic powers all post bounties on rival factions. I've been putting together a folder containing letters of marquee from, or no, probably letters of mark, not marquee. Letters of mark from all governments currently aligned against PAC. So I guess that's gonna be like our mission, our mission folder. In other words, our only way of making money right now is privateering, not pirates, privateers for other planets which have a grudge against Pact. Uh, which is pretty much everyone, I'm guessing. Correct. We paid a sum of money for each Pact target we sink. Okay, do spaceships sink? Uh, the bigger the target, the bigger the reward. All right, keep me posted on the money situation. How are you holding up after what happened? I'm fine, Captain. There's no reason to worry about me. Are you sure? Yes, we got more immediate problems than that. I suppose you're right, indeed. Uh, still, if you need to talk about anything, my door is always open. Did that already. So report to the bridge. Understood. So, just on the bridge. And this is where I have played up to. So, from here on, it's all new stuff. Uh, you can use the star map at the center of the bridge to plot our course. There is no star map here. Access the galaxy map. Here's one. So we're going to Tidaria. Can we go here? No. Okay. Got a bunch of people. Alright, we'll go to Tidaria. So... It's a mining, mining world it looks like. Tidarians are fierce mercantilists and will pinch every penny out of a deal. So is this got a bit of the Star Wars thing where like everyone from the planet has the exact same personality? A rich in ore, Tidaria's hostile climate has protected it from the f from foreign encroachment. Tidarians has no strong 
uh, alignment with either Pact or the Alliance, and it's generally favored whoever paid for its ore. So let's go there to repair and resupply. I, Captain, course laid in. All hands, this is Commander speaking. Oh, I thought that was Captain, but I guess it's her. Uh, uh, we will momentarily enter jump space to the neutral world of Tidaria. Assume jump stations and wait further orders on dropout. The jump drive is functioning as expected, Captain. Course status is green, on your word. Warp. Warp complete, Captain. We're, uh, we're arriving at the mining world of Tidaria. What kind of help do you think we'll be able to get out here? Or just get here? Uh, resources and supplies, at least. Uh, there's a big space mining operation going on around the rings of the planet. You might want to hold that thought. I'm detecting unknown vessels on an intercept course with us. Flag? I'm not finding any of them uh, on... I'm not finding any of them on any of the flag registries. Which is a thing, apparently. Damn, pirates. Scurvy dogs. Red alert, raise shields and power weapons. We are being hailed. By her. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, this pirate, uh, this is the pirate rider Havoc. Lower your shields and surrender your cargo. Stand down, this is an armed warship of the Sarah Space Force. We will not hesitate to open fire if you approach. Sarah Space Force? Uh -huh. Uh, your ship will make a lovely addition to my pirate fleet, after we've dealt with you, of course. Boys, rough them up. Hey, but what's the situation? Two pirate riders, inbound fast, both infantry class. Uh, there's one more bomber class rider leading them, designation Havoc. Also, two pirate destroyers are approaching, Estimate estimated time until arrival 10 minutes. Let's try to end this before the destroyers get here. Concentrate all firepower on the lead pirate rider. Besides, she just looks like a little girl. Does that matter if she's in a mech? Maybe a little show of force will help put her in her place. Okay. Captain, please don't underestimate the enemy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are mechs. We're heavily outnumbered, Captain. What are your orders? Concentrate on the lead bomber. Those pirates think about nothing but themselves. Once Cosset... I was not paying attention. I guess that's her name. Uh, realize we mean business, she'll probably back off. Understood, Captain. Let's hope this goes as planned. Okay. Destroy the Havoc. The Sunrider is at your disposal, Captain. So still 100%. No, 70%. 77. Um, move in once. Makes it 82. Let's... What is... Oh, is that the chance to shoot it down? That, uh, percentage there? So she's got bet. So 42% chance to shoot some missiles down. Should I just take out... Should I take out, like, one of these guys? With the missiles? Because they have much less chance. To... I'm kind of scared. Like, I'm wondering if... Let's, alright, let's just... Let's just fire at her. I only have one one set of missiles, I think. Yeah, zero out of one now. They intercepted a bunch. So we did a good amount. Are those missiles there? Does she have missiles too? Uh three percent's not even worth it. The enemy has missed. Oh. Cool. Our hole is holding. Those like weird delays are kind of kind of weird. Our hole is beginning to fracture. Like, we've barely taken any damage, and apparently our hole is beginning to fracture. Damage report. We're venting air in four sections. Our systems are stretched to capacity. How does so many missiles get? I mean, none of the missiles got through. The gunner's blind, Ava. 
I guess they were supposed to, but we just like super lucked out and they all missed. We're still recovering from Sarah, Captain. The Sunrise is giving it her all. Now's our chance. Take their engines out, but leave the ship intact. We'll board and cut down the crew hand to hand. You're awfully persistent for a little girl, aren't you? He's really hung up on this. Did you just call me little? I guess she's hung up on that. She's super mad. Uh, kill them all, but leave the captain for me. He's mine. Captain, please do not provoke the enemy. <laughs> I kind of like Ava. Damn, just one problem after another. Huh? The cavalry has arrived. That's a pretty cool mech design. What the? Who are you? A hero of justice. Looks like you could use a hand there. Don't worry, my blackjack. Oh, same. That's the. That's the name of the mech from. Uh, Battletech, the, the one that really crap looking one we stood out with. We'll take a, uh, we'll take care of these guys in a flash. He's flying a mercenary rider licensed by the United Mining Guild, Captain. Probably hired security for the mining operation on Tidaria. Think we can trust her? Doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Alright, pilot the blackjack. Let's see what you've got. No problem. A saga is the name. By the way, did you know about repeating attacks? Some weapons like assault rifles don't deal much damage, but shoot multiple times in a single attack. It's a good way to deal. It's a good way to deal reliable damage against units with high evasion, like riders. Watch out, though. Their total use is against intact units with armor, like bombers and capital ships. Of course, if you punch lots of holes in their armor with a big gun first, even a little pea shooter will mess them up good. Okay, so I guess they have armor too. If you select a weapon, the third number listed on the enemy unit is that unit's armor rating. Uh, be careful when using your kinetic type weapons especially, because armor is twice as effective against kinetics. So hit with lasers first, and then ki and then kinetic weapons, I guess. That sounds fine. I think we're still just targeting her. Like, this goes against my MO instincts. You want to wipe out all of the little guys first, but I'm hoping that we're gonna... Should I back up? They're coming to me. I'm hoping that, much like the boss from Mechanicus yesterday, just taking her out or getting her low enough will just end the mission. Oh. Oh, we have her, too. So we have pulse lasers, we have normal lasers, melee, anti, uh, the point defense stuff, and we've got some missiles. How much is lasers? 70. 62% chance to hit. Should we go for it? Devastation at the speed of hey, it was worth it. That came from. Her voice is a little annoying. Okay. Let's light this guy up. More missiles. Zero intercepted. Again? Okay, three units at this time. Our systems are catastrophically Didn't we take... One one. That's like the same amount of, I guess, minus 40 damage from armor. Our systems are catastrophically failing one by one. This is hurting. Apart, Did that guy not attack? Warning! Core implosion is imminent! We're about to die. Warning! Core implosion is imminent. Ooh. Awaiting orders. This is not going well. Okay. Let's shoot. Let's hope Charge for training. that. Just hitting her down. Okay, so if this does- oh my god, her voice is getting increasingly annoying. If this doesn't take her out, okay, do we win? Shh, these guys aren't worth it. Fall back. Enemy ships are bugging out, we got them. Oof, that sure was exciting. We'll open up our hangar, uh, our hangar bay. You have permission to dock, Blackjack. And to explain yourself. Roger that, coming aboard.
We didn't get any, uh, any money. Oh, but we got, the, we got surrender bonus, I guess. Repair costs 128, so net gain 322. We got some command points, whatever that is. Ooh, that sure was hairy. I didn't think, uh, I didn't ever think those pirates would pick on a military ship. Stop right there, pilot. You're going to get have to get searched for weapons. Sorry, regular protocol. Ooh, does this mean I'm gonna have to get groped by the mean lady beside you? Lady? Haha, uh -huh. I'm Captain Kato Shields of the Assault Carrier Sunrider. The mean lady behind uh, beside me is Commander Ava Crescentia, and who are you? Asaga Oakran. Asaga. Pilot of the Blackjack. Thanks for the help out there. That was us. Uh, hey, 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 don't worry. Those guys weren't. Those guys were nothing. So what exactly were you doing out here? Out there. I can't imagine a lone rider operating out here for no reason. Oh, nothing. Just keeping the space, the spaceways safe. Safe. Done. Da 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 da. <laughs> Coming to the rescue whenever the weak. Uh, wherever the weak are oppressed, it's the hero of justice, the vanguard of the innocent, for love, freedom, there's a little bit of money on the side, it's Asaga of the Black Jack. She's not impressed. Let me guess, you're a freelancer? I guess you could call me that. I'm just gonna skip laughs now, because it's just weird. The space around here is pretty dangerous, so the mining union's been paying me to bust up any pirates around here. Easier said than done, though. Those guys are harder to kill than cockroaches. Lots of choices here, uh, but let's find out about your freelancing. Uh, I've been freelance. I've been wandering uh, around the neutral rim, looking around. F yeah, around twice. Uh, looking around for any odd jobs, here and there. I like to call myself an adventurer. Not gonna make the joke. Uh, and you do this alone in just a single rider? Ah, uh, not really. I have Shigara to help me out. She's the one who built me my blackjack here. Shigara? Is she an engineer? Yeah, you can call her that. She's a genius when it comes to technology, and she can fix just about anything mechanical. I'm betting we'll get to meet this Chigara very soon. And she's going to become the engineer on the ship. Tell me more about the pirates. The pirates in this sector are led by a nasty girl named Cosset Cosmos. You've already met her. What's a little girl like that doing committing piracy? Cosset may look like a brat, but don't underestimate her. She's feared in this whole sector as a ruthless pirate. I've even heard a rumor the other day that she slit her own pa's throat for not buying her candy on her 14th birthday. I'm not sure if I really believe- And there's this other one about her ship, the Havoc. You mean her rider, the Havoc. Being filled with rats that she keeps as pets. So is this ship? I thought the Havoc was her mech. Really? Anyways, I've had a couple run-ins with her and I can say she's not to be trifled with. Be careful of the Havoc's anti-matter missiles. Those will definitely put more than a dent on any capital ship's hull. The Havoc's only weakness is that it's pretty slow and sluggish, so it can be picked off by other riders. So it is a rider. Thanks, keep that in mind. Then they're ready. Tell me more about the United Mining Federation. The Mining Union? I'm working for them right now. I don't really know much about them, aside from the fact that, they're, that they mine the ore on Tidaria and pay me money to take out the pirates. A lady by the name of Sophita is my contact with the Union. If you're looking for some work, she'd be the person to talk to around here. What do they think of Pact? Nothing much, really. They don't really pick sides as long as I can keep mining. I wonder how long that'll last. So we're good. Let's move on to the next course of action. Uh, hey, you guys, as a part of the former Saras... Oh, hey, you guys are a part of the former Saras Space Force, huh? That's right. Uh, why don't we join forces for a while from the... From the look of things here, you seem to be an assault carrier without any riders. Help me take care of these pirates, and I'll join you guys as the Sunrider's first rider. Uh, Captain, we don't know if we can trust this girl. We've only just met her. She's already saved our neck, and she's right. Currently useless. I mean, we do... We do need one. I knew you were going to say that. Glad we agreed, Captain. For now, the Sunrider needs repairs and supplies. We'll make our way to Tidaria and dock there, then we'll decide our next course of action. Oh, Chikara has her workshop in Tidaria. We'll be able to fix your ship in no time. Alright, if your friend can help us, we'll head to her workshop. 
Eva and I are going to head up to the bridge now. You should stay here with your... I guess they just call Ryder ships. We'll call on the comm if anything comes up. Understood, Captain. Can't believe you're seriously going to let her stay on board. She was on the title screen, so obviously she was going to join. So calm down, Ava. What's the matter, Ava? Nothing, it's just... Ugh. Anyways, what are you waiting for? The quicker we get to Tidaria, the less I need to worry about a fleet of pirate ships warping in around us. Just use the star map and order the Sunrider to the workshop. I've already put in its coordinates on the computer, so you should be able to find it without any problems. Away we go, then. This is the Sunrider requesting permission to dock. Oh, welcome to... The Stardust Bakery? Bakery? I'm glad he's confused too. Didn't Nasaga say this was a workshop? I knew we shouldn't have trusted her. Um, we offer... We offer a cupcakes, cream puffs, strawberry cakes, and various muffins. Oh. And we might just do starship repairs as well. Whoops. This is getting weirder and weirder by the minute. If I can just come on board, I'll be able to survey the extent of the repairs and give you a quote. How's that? Alright, sure. I think we have a friend of yours waiting in the hangar, too. Hey, Chigara! I'm back home. There she is. And you've brought friends. I'm assuming this is like the standard issue mech piloting jumpsuit. So, she has a mech, too? Because she's in one? Uh-huh, this is Captain Kato Shields uh, of the Starship Sunrider. And that's and that lady's first officer, Ava Crescentia. Ugh. It's nice to meet you. You must be Chigara. Um, Chigara Lin Ashada's my full name, but uh, Asaga calls me that. What calls you your name? Okay. So what's this about this place being a bakery? Ah, uh, the Stardust Pastry Bakery is the best place to get pastries in Tidaria. The only place. Cupcakes, which shouldn't have a space. Cream puffs, sandwiches, we have it all. Or do you get a lot of business here? Uh, no. Or I suppose that's supposed to be an ooh or something. <laughs> no. Everyone seems much more interested in getting their ship fixed. Why don't you just open a dry dock instead of a bakery? Doesn't she kind of have a dry dock? Oi, oi, it's always been Shigara's dream to run a bakery. You can't just shut a girl's dreams down like that. Maybe I really should consider giving up. It feels so awkward selling cupcakes next to the starship fuel. This is a strange place for a girl to have a workshop. Is it? Doesn't really seem like it. It's a mining colony. It's like they would need a workshop just like anyone else would. Not at all. To yeah, see? Tedaria is one of the mining union's primary worlds. I've been renting this dock from the union and patching up ships with a saga for a while now. As long as I service the Union ships, they've been very supportive of my efforts here. Well, aside from the bakery. I was referring more to yourself. Me? Well, I guess you could call me one of those people like Asaga. A freelancer? Oh yes, that. Something tells me there's more to this pair than they're letting on. These girls don't actually exactly fit my image of freelancers. Okay, calm down. They can be freelancers too. Let's get down to business. Sunrider needs is in need of repairs. Not only that, but we still need to complete our tests and resupply. Most of the damage needs to be to the outer hull. It shouldn't be hard to repair. <laughs> That's not what Ava was saying during that fight. Seems like we had some pretty critical structural damage. Now, I think you're uh, understating things. The Sunrider is the top of the line military vessel. It's not going to be like scraping a meteoroid impact from a mining ship. Oof, 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 oof. I, is that supposed to be laughter? Don't worry, Captain. Chigar is a crazy genius when it comes to technology. I've never seen a single machine that she couldn't fix. Look over there. See that? That's a busted power converter that took a lab of 12 scientists a month to make. There's no way you could fix that. Uh, actually, I made this little contraption in my sleep yesterday night. I was really confused when I woke up and saw a power converter on my bed, but I think it should work perfectly for your shit. What? That's about my reaction to... Come on, try it, Captain. I swear it'll work. Excuse me. Here we go. Well, I'll be damned. Not only does it work, but the efficiency's been increased by 20%. Told you she was a genius. Laughter. Uh, well, okay then. Uh, you can start repairs as soon as possible. Do you want to oversee the repair work? Uh, I think I'll leave you in charge of that. I'll be in my quarters trying to find a way to write about this in my logs. 
Understood, Captain. I'll contact you once repairs are complete. Are we gonna get the main cannon back? Uh, begin Captain's Log. Star date, no. Uh, the Sunrider's been in dry dock for the past two days. Repairs have gone ahead of schedule, and we're back to full combat status already. That Chigar girl is really something. I wouldn't mind having her on my engineering staff. We're about to set sail again. Do you sail? I'm still not sure what to do about our two guests. Even though Ava doesn't, uh, still doesn't trust them, they've been an invaluable help. I think they they do well on board the Sunrider. End captain's log. Well, I guess it's time to explore the ship. We'll start with her. The ship is at your command, Captain. What do you think our next move should be? First things first, like you said, the Sunrider is an assault carrier without any riders. Our first priority should be to find pilots and riders to fill up our empty hangar. We already have one interested pilot. You should be careful about that. Uh, you should be careful with that one. So I got to have a person that seeks out danger. How do you even know that? Woman's intuition. Huh. Alright then. What's the ship's status? Repairs are already complete. We're ready to set sail as soon as you give the command. Carry on. Or come on. What, whatever. Right here. It's... Oh, sorry Captain Shields. I didn't see you coming. Sorry for surprising you. Was there something you needed? Alright. So you made the blackjack yourself? That's correct. Saga used to fly all around a military surplus fighter that she put together from a junk heap. I used to be worried sick that it'd fall apart, so I decided that I'd build, her, build a new rider for her. The Blackjack's unlike anything I've seen in my life. Uh, you know, if you worked for an en for engineering, for a engineering company, you could change the galaxy. Uh, but then I wouldn't be able to open my bakery. Do you also pilot a rider, Chigara? I do. Liberty's a support writer though, so I usually fly as, fly as a Saga's wingmate and provide her with support. It's only for really tough missions though. Usually the Blackjack's strong enough to fly by itself. The Liberty, huh? Did you also make that yourself? Uh-huh, they're both my creations. We we could sure use more writers. I don't suppose we could bring the Liberty on board. About that. Saga's been pumped up about attacking the pirates, so she's already arranged to bring the Liberty here. Uh, really? Sheesh. I'm guessing. I think she's just like two E's, right? Nobody's told me about that, and I'm supposed to be the captain. Uh, so where did you learn to work with machines like that? My people were always experts with technology. I guess it's because I've been trained since I was really little. My people? You're like from a tribe of engineers? Unfortunately, there's not many of us left now, so it must seem really amazing to you. But back home, I wasn't even that amazing with science. Uh, you should have seen my parents. They were really amazing. What did your parents do? They were researching some incredible things. Technology to bring people back from the dead. Synthesize complicated machinery from thin air. Tell the truth compared to what they were making. What I'm doing here is really only child's play. That'll be all. Okay, and then... We will complete. Oh, do you need me or something? Okay, how did you meet? Me and Chigara go pretty far. Go back pretty far. I think we met about five years ago, back when I when she was just a girl. Uh, mm, well, I think she was a refugee from a planet that was destroyed in a natural disaster. Anyway, I saw a bunch of these dirty guys scaring uh, scaring her in the middle of the street, so I stepped in and tried to scare them away. How'd that turn out? Let's say that I kind of bit off more than I can chew, but I swear, I was gonna win in the end. Lucky for those guys, though, Chikara pulled out a gadget that zapped them with te electricity, so I didn't have, so I didn't have to space them for good. You're, you're lucky she was there to save you. Hey, like I said, I was gonna beat them in the end. And ever since then, we've been comrades in arms. This is like she skipped a few chapters of that story. Well, I mean, not really. Still a refugee from a doomed world. Maybe I should ask Chikara more about this. Oh, can you like unlock, like dialogue options by talking to other people? So about joining the Sunrider. So, are you willing to help, Captain? If you help me take out the pirates, I'll join you guys aboard the Sunrider. Why do you want to join the Sunrider? For the adventure, of course, and the excitement. Really? Is that all? Well, you're headed after Pact, right? Pact's conquered our home. Of course, we're of course we're after them. Uh, well, maybe I want to help out. If we don't do anything, Pact's gonna take over the galaxy, and that's just not and that's not just bad for us. That's going to be bad for anyone who cares about the free uh, about freedom and justice. Couldn't agree more. Uh, I knew we'd think alike from the moment I met you, Captain. Tell me more about the pirates you're after. 
I've been terrorizing the sector for the past year. Merchants, military, even unarmed civilians. No one's safe from them. Now that kind of thing just makes my blood boil. I say we go and take the fight to them. There's a pirate's nest hidden in the Tidarian asteroid field where they operate from. We can take the Sunrider and mess that nest up. Uh, that'll show them not to pick on civilians. And also get your payment from Mining Union. Uh, that too. Hey, everyone's gonna make a living. Yeah, I mean, we need mechs, so. And we couldn't really say no. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll whack those pirates in no time at all. And then, attend to your pack problem together. Welcome to the team, Saga. I won't lay you down, Captain. Not gonna laugh. That'll be all for now. Stay out of trouble. Okay, so did we unlock a... Uh, let me take a drink of water real fast. Hold on. No, uh, drinking ASMR. Didn't see you coming, sorry for surprising you. This is something you needed. I heard from Asaga you were a refugee. That's right, it used to be a refugee from the planet Diode. Diode, I remember hearing about the Diode catastrophe about six years ago. Didn't a science experiment go terribly wrong and open a micro black hole on the planet? It was a terrible event, didn't sound like a natural disaster. Ever since that happened, I've been on my own. Well, at least until Asaga found me. I'm sorry, I don't really like talking about what happened that day. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. I just wanted to exhaust all of the dialogue options. That'll be all for now. Do you have any more? No. Carry on. Can we do a save? No. So we'll I'm assuming that's yeah. Bring me up to date on our situation. Let's just save here real fast. In case we need to... Just in case we need to do a bit of save scumming, you never know. Bring me up to date on our situation. Cosmos pirates are operating from an asteroid base near Tidaria's moon. Even with the help of our new pirates, the attack will not be easy. Yeah, I mean, if there's anything as hard as that last one, it feels like we're gonna get wrecked. The base itself has been built into an asteroid which the pirates dug out, then reinforced with armor and decked out with weapons. The asteroid base is impervious to most conventional weaponry as a result. Not only that, but the asteroids surrounding the base will make a natural in will make a natural environment for ambush. Just one problem after another. Don't worry, Captain. These pirates are cowards. They'll own. Uh, they're only used to fighting unarmed civilians and ragtag freelancers. I mean, they kind of wrecked us. If they hadn't surrendered when we killed the uh, the Big Mac, we would have just died. They'll be shaking in their boots once they see the Sunrider barreling towards them. Regardless, we should prepare the Sunrider systems to the utmost before attempting any operation against the pirate's nest. This is where our new guest comes in. Hello, everyone. I've been working on getting the Sunrider's research and development lab operational. I'd say that we're just about to, uh, ready to open our doors. From now, uh, from now, you'll be able to allocate funding to researching new to research to research new uh, allocate funding to research new technology. Jesus, uh, Captain, you just speak with me in the lab, and I can get you started. And I can get started. Sounds good. But where are we going to get the money for that? Missions. We've already made a little bit. Uh, there are a lot of people out in the galaxy who need a helping hand. If we sort out their problems, we sort the problems out, uh, usually through judicious application of our main canon, like the way she thinks, then we could be paid in return. So we'll essentially be freelancing ourselves, huh? Alright. I've already prepared a potential mission for you, Captain. There's a pact communications- Oh, okay, so we don't have to go after pirates immediately. So that's good. There's a pact communications spire near us, which has been coordinating nearly 30% 35% of their military efforts in the neutral rim. Normally, it'd be uh, guarded by an entire fleet, but we've ha hit a stroke of good luck. An iron storm delayed the arrival of the Spire's guardian fleet during a switchover, and now the communication Spire is undefended. If we were to warp in and destroy it, we could throw a wrench into all of Pax's war efforts in the neutral rim. Not only that, the leaders of at least three neutral worlds would pay us handsomely. Hang on, Captain. I have something else for you, too. There's been a band of particularly nasty thugs who've been kidnapping girls from Tidaria and selling them into the slave mark into the slave trade. One of Cossette's goons? Nah, these guys are something else. At least Cossette sticks to just killing and smuggling weapons. Human traffickers, Captain. Out here, the laws protecting human dignity don't amount to much. I just got a tip from a friend in the Tidarian government that their raiding parties have 
been spotted in the astral expanse. If we get there in time, we, we might still be able to catch them and put an end to their operation for good. Captain, as much as the trafficking of innocent girls aches our collective conscience, we have a war to win against Pact. That communication spire is clearly more important than getting rid of some low-life perverts. But they're kidnapping innocents and selling them into the slave trade. Come on, Captain, we can't just forget about them. Whichever you choose, Captain, remember that time is of the essence for some missions. We only have a limited window of time to perform side missions. So be sure to choose wisely which mission to undertake. Oh, I like to be able to do them all. It is also in your discretion to ignore side missions and focus on our main objectives as well. I'm not going to be doing that. All right, I'll think on it and see what I can do. So I have to choose which mission to go for. What? What is this? Is this the side mission? And this is the galaxy map? Well, we can talk to her. Welcome research and development. Is there anything I can help you with? Let me allocate our funds. Very well, Captain. Remember, you can freely try out all upgrades in the simulator. To research and development. Okay, I want... Okay, I super want this. Because I want I want these main these guns here to be like our main guns, because they're just super cool. So boosting the accuracy, I think, is how we're gonna do that. How much money do we have? Fun, 319. Does it say the cost? Okay, just 259 to 109. I'm not gonna bother mathing that. I, but I feel like we need armor. Gonna take a hundred, yeah. Okay, so that's the amount that it costs. Hmm. I'd like connect damage as well, but I can't afford it. What? Wait, how? We had a hundred and nine, and then we refunded. <laughs> and we we lost money on that. That sucks. Wait, so if I refund this all, I now have 289. So you don't get back, so it's like, immediately commits. Thank you, Captain. Remember how I have said we're gonna save, save scum? Bam. Because that's bullshit. So we went, we already saw this. Skip all that. Okay. So I'm gonna go back here. Now we're gonna save. Again. Okay. You should be able to look out, you know, see like how much you can afford and stuff. Without, and okay. So we have 419. So we want kinetic accuracy. Um, we want energy cost. And the energy reactor, I think. So give us more energy to do stuff with, more accuracy, and lower the cost. I think that's good. Assuming we can scroll through this. So then we also have lasers, missiles, defenses. So I'm guessing hull plating here is our health. Yeah. And then defense armor is our armor. So yeah, obviously I like I want all of this. It all sounds good. But for now we're gonna go with this. Um You have like all the same upgrades. Okay, so this is the support. Okay, so we can, we can just the scroll bar is all the same, despite there only being like that many. Okay, so for now we're upgrade the ship. I'm not sure like what's good on her yet. Maybe maybe laser damage. I'm not sure. We're gonna we're, we'll figure out what Thank to do. You, Captain. We'll get started right away. So what's this? So this is the because that's this is the attack the uh, attack the like you know tower. This is save the or kill the slavers. What's this? 
talk to you so we can save. What is it? Yeah, she has news for us. What is it? Uh, I've received a message from the mining union. It seems that you, they're interested in speaking to you. You know that's what they want from us? Mining union is one of the biggest private corporations in the galaxy. They're controlling nearly every stage of the mining process, from the extraction of ores, from the rock bed, to the mine, to the reinforcement, no, sorry, uh, to the refinement of those ores into starship-grade steel. Last time I checked, the mining union provides steel for nearly half the galaxy's navies. So they stand to profit the most from a war, huh? How do I contact them? Dops is equipped with a FTL transponder. You'll be able to make real-time holographic calls from your office to anywhere else in the galaxy with it. I'll update your address book with the Mining Union's representative. It's a woman named Sophita Brooks. You can also make FTL calls to anyone else on your address book from your office. Alright, thanks. Is this the main... That's the main story mission, I think? Wait, no. So calling is the main story mission. So what's the skirmish? Can I save from the screen? No. I can save from uh, this screen. Now, nothing, um, what is this? Gonna skirmish mode. Here you'll be able to refine your strategies by fighting custom battles. Click on add player ships and click and drop your units up to the map. Do the same to add enemy units. Pressing shift allows you to add a selected unit multiple times to the map. Pressing the mount button allows you to instantly grab the next uh, player unit from the oh, uh... Okay, so it's like a little test thing. Interesting. So, is one of these? Can we end up getting both of these? Stop slavers. Attack thing. So it feels like we want to do this, don't we? I'd like to also do this. This one feels more timed than this one. My guess is they're both timed. I'll choose one, the other will disappear. But... Because this is like, according to earlier, this is just a momentary sort of gap because of some storm or whatever, some space storm. The, re the guard is delayed. This one, they've just been sighted here. Maybe they'll continue to be sighted here after we finish this. Now, of course, that's not how this is going to work. I'm going to run this. That's going to disappear. But if one of them has a chance to not be timed, it's the other one. So if we want to complete both of them, we should do this one. But let's save first. <laughs> She's <laughs> from her point of view. <laughs> why do you keep coming in and then just saying no? I'm good <laughs> and leaving. We look really weird. Um, so let's do. So let's go ahead and do this. If the other one dis disappears, well, we'll see. So let's do that. War complete, Captain. The spire is right up ahead. Warning: Pack sensors. The spire is being attacked by a squad of ships led by a packed cruiser. Cruiser? I thought you said this thing was undefended. A single cruiser is undefended, Captain. Normally there'd be an entire fleet surrounding the spire. Be careful, that spire is decked out with rail guns. Our scans indicate that it's out of it's out of missiles though. So let's try taking it from a distance. Alright, Asaga Chigara, are you ready down there? On your way, Captain, let's get, take these guys out. I'll try my best, Captain. All hands battle stations. This is a hit and run operation, Captain. Our primary objective is the destruction of the pack spire. All enemy units are secondary targets. All right, all units focus on the spire. Try to minimize combat with the escort fleet. Objective: destroy the pack spire. Okay, I think this should be pretty easy. Liberty is capable of generating a small energy field. Energy fields provide protection against laser-based weapons uh, for all units within the blue field indicated on the map. Okay, that's pretty useful actually. 
Using allied defenses while exploiting weaknesses in the enemy's defenses is essential to winning. No defense is perfect though, so make sure you exploit the holes in the enemy's defenses by using the best type of weapon for the situation. Okay. So... Need something scanned, Captain? I don't know what these abilities do. So we can repair, that's good. Aim up. Shut off. Flack off. Disable. What does shut off do? It costs 60. Kind of want aim up though. Does it hit everybody or just one person? So let's. Okay, let's aim up our thing. Oh, tooltips. The target can no longer counterattack or fire flak missiles. Add missiles for two turns. Let's flack off him. Oh, what am I doing? I meant to end that unit's turn. Our hold is holding. That was dumb. Our hold is beginning to fracture. How long does the aim up fracture. last? Like, am I still gonna have it or am I gonna have to do that again? What is this? Oh, they only did 37 damage, so I guess... Yeah, okay, so that's good. More missiles... This is just all damage that we potentially didn't really even need to take. Like, if, I don't, I'm not sure how many health. 900 health. Like, we might have even been able to just snipe that. Do I still have... Yeah. Plus 100 for two turns. Okay. So let's go move forward one. Kinetics, 58% chance to hit, 100% to hit. Should I risk this? Uh, armor, is that the armor? Let's start with uh, lasers. They've got a shield too. Um I'm here, Captain. Go, go, go. We'll laser again. I'm my laser. <laughs> That's a good reference there. Good reference. Oh, Hey, okay, I guess you have to click on that. Only five. Okay, so I guess boosting the energy gave us five extra energy, so kind of useless right now. Oh, wow, I should have done this. What am I doing? Well, we'll still do it. Because then we'll have this stuff next turn. Okay. And we'll move up. Here I go. We might be loading here. I'm not sure we're gonna be. Blackjack still holding strong. Too slow. She's pretty dodgy, so that's good. good if she can just tank this. Excited, huh, that's nice. Because we're not dodgy at all. Missiles. I might move. I might move here next. Ugh. We're gonna need to repair next. Next turn. She's 
breaking apart, Captain. You're watching over me, Captain. So repair you. Countermeasure successful. How much is that? Engineering reports an increase at your command. Okay, I mean it's not bad. They have 30 armor now. Yeah, what armor went up? What? Oh, because that's the pack cruiser, not this. 16 armor. Okay, that's good. So. 58. What do you need, Captain? So lasers is 70. We have 100, so we can move here. I'm not sure if that helps, but. I'm a fire in my laser. More where that came from. Does that uh, reduce the armor on it? It does. Okay. All systems are green. So you're out, right? Let's go yeah. Get um, we do have missiles. I'm not sure what it costs to, like, get them. 43% chance to. So, let's try it. Zero intercepted. Five intercepted! Okay, so it's got good flak. It's got good flak. forget to click every time and then we can also laser it Trinity's locked. which we'll do we have struck the enemy okay so the armor is getting weaker and weaker so next turn we'll move up one hopefully we'll build a Connecticut I didn't see what that said went by too fast our systems are catastrophically failing one by one so we can, I guess by clicking, we can skip the animation, so that's good. That always might take a while. Yeah, the shooting, doing more damage, shooting, doing more damage. <laughs> that does not sound good. Four intercepted. Took 90 damage. Four intercepted again. Recommend we abandon ship. If we don't, so we will die next turn. If we don't win next turn, so Captain? we need to heal. The are working. The sun rider awaits orders. But we're still super low. We only have a. F so let's Blackjack, move in. Laser. Justice served. Two hundred and four health. Okay. The sun is at your if we move forward, we have a fifty-eight percent chance. I think we will do more than two hundred and eight and four damage. So basically, this is fifty-fifty. If we hit. Then we win, and if we miss, I think we probably lose. Firing. Boom. On target. Okay, we win. Man, it's always nice when your strategy comes down to a coin flip. Well, I'm still getting used to this game, okay, cut me some slack. Destroyed enemy ships, everyone else surrendered. Enemy destruction worth a thousand. That's amazing. Surrender bonus. 325. Repair costs 113. Net gain, a whole bunch. So, boom, we did it. Spire has been destroyed. Mission complete. All units return to the sunrise. Let's get out of here before Pack realizes the sense reinforcements. Understood, Captain. All wings are returning home. We did it. Okay, so now is the other mission. It is. Okay, so we can do both. Excellent. Welcome to Research and Development, Captain. Anything to help you with? Let me allocate Welcome our funds. Okay. So we need... Primarily... Future gun. So... Sink 500 into more armor, I think. And then... More damage. More kinetic damage. 
energy reactor, because that is amazing. And then we need hull plating. This feels... This, like, so we're at minus 25 evasion right now. So it feels like this is a big hole to try to dig ourselves out of. I can reduce the energy cost of kinetics. It'd be nice to just start fire, being able to fire them alongside the energy. So we're at 110 energy right now. We want to just keep boosting that, definitely. Um, but what's the next three minutes? It's not much. Um, so... Boosting kinetic accuracy lets us fire it sooner. So it goes from 73 to 77. So we're going to do that. I think it... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Thank Who knows if this is the correct... Right I'm also gonna save. Yes, return. Oh yeah, right-click just goes straight to the save menu. That's good to know. Uh, can we talk to people? No. Oh, wait. What's... Does this let us... No. Hold on. Load. I don't want to do that yet. Not right now. Because we want to do... This. Oh. We lost the mission. We lost the mission, boys. We lost the mission. This this map is still here, but... There's no mission here. So we oh, I guess we are going to do... Uh, can we do anything here? No. And not here either. Main, oh, attack pirate next. Oh, this is the main... Okay, so let's go back... Go up. Let's do this. Feels bad. We lost the other mission. All right, Captain. Please make your acquaintance. I'm Sophita Brooks, Vice Secretary of Operations, Captain Kato Shields of the Starship Sunrider. To what do I owe the pleasure? I come to you with a business opportunity. We at the Union are always eager to seek new partners, and certainly the opportunity to work with the captain of a prototype warship does not come often. I'm listening. We forwarded you a list of contacts. Uh, contracts. If you wish, you may seek to undertake them, and of course, we will provide you with fair compensation for your efforts if you choose to undertake them. Contracts of what sort? Of the sort requiring a big stick, Captain. I'll leave it to you to figure out what I mean. Further, if you wish to trade with us, I am uh, available as your contact as well. Uh, what do you have for sale? Proton torpedoes, tactical nuclear warheads, uh, and all other necessities of modern life. Also, during our excavations, sometimes we find, shall we say, interesting artifacts. I do want these. Interesting psychic artifacts. I'm guessing they're psychic. Who knows what they are? But that sounds cool. Uh, while they're quite old, I'm told they still possess impressive powers. Ancient artifacts. Could she be referring to lost technology? I see I have your attention now, Captain. If you have the money, we will deliver these artifacts for your personal use. I'm sure that you will find them to be most helpful. I'll keep that in mind. Just remember the Union will always be available to help, provided you have the money and the will. The only two forces in the galaxy greater than any warship. I don't know if will is greater than any warship, but... I see we are on the same page then. So what do we have for sale? Like, what are these artifacts? Warhead ammo. Okay. So no artifacts? This is really hard to read. Oh, I want that though. Sunrider shield upgrade. That sounds amazing. Due to the Sunrider's unexpected departure from Sarah, she was never outfitted with energy shielding. While her top of the line shield generator was lost with the fall of Sarah, the Union something. The Sunrider with a basic shield generator. The Sunrider shields can be further upgraded in the research after its purchase. So I really want this, because it feels like you take a lot of- so we're saving up for this. Good to know. Portable repair booster. Whatever. The return. Like, is that how it's supposed to be? Oh, that's how it's supposed to be. 
this just didn't load. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. So that's the repair that increases. Okay. So this is some good shit. Some good shit. I don't really care about torpedoes, but we'll see. So we'll come back to that, definitely. Uh, so we need to go attack the pirates now, I guess is our only option. We'll save first. I missed the chance to do that. So we'll save, yes. Yes, nothing. And then we will attack the pirates. Boom, let's go pirates. We read this already. Warp successful. We've arrived at the Tidarian asteroid field. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled for any pirate vessels. The rocks here are interfering with our scanners, so I'm 120% sure. Okay, the the pirates are waiting for waiting to ambush us. Roger that. What's with that like weird? Slow teleport in transition. <laughs> Why don't they just appear? Uh, Roger that. We're already down here in the hangar. Just give the word, Captain. Alert! Enemies detected. Incoming pirate fleet. Slow teleport in. Uh, I didn't think anyone would be so bold as to attack our base. Show these whelps what happens when you cross cross Cosset Cosmos. All hands battle stations. All right. So I have the strange feeling we're gonna get super wrecked, but you know whatever. Time has come for you to issue exec executive orders, Captain. As you win battles, you gain command points based on your battlefield performance. These command points may be spent to issue powerful executive orders which can quickly change the tide of combat. So they select the orders tab on the top left side of the battle screen and then select the order you wish to issue. Be careful as you can only issue because you can only use a single order per turn. What are these orders? Full forward provides plus 15 aim and 20% damage to all allied units. Will cancel all guard if active. Repair drones restores 50% of the Sunrider's health. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, is this the thing that boosts? Uh, that gets boosted by the other thing. Vanguard deals 800 unavoidable damage to all units in a straight line extending outwards from the Sunrider with a maximum range of six hexes. And then all guard. Provides plus 20 flak, 10 evasion, 10 shield generation to all ships. We'll cancel full forward if active. I think... Like, if we move here... And then move here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can just blow away these two with, one of the, with that, like, super attack order. So let's... Let's aim up you. Countermeasure successful. Move here. An increase in our capabilities. All systems move here. Engage the enemy face to face. Orders. The cannon that was not working before. Oh wait, yeah, we have enough. The cannon, so we'll fire this. Boom. This is my command. Prepare to fire the Vanguard cannon. Vanguards, fire. Plus lasers and everything else too, apparently. Dead. Dead. Super dead. Okay, good. So we have 80 left. So we can laser... Is the base what we're trying to kill? Should we go for him? Trinity's locked. The enemy has taken okay, damage. so we can kill him. We can do this. Here, go Captain. here. Laser. You. I'm firing my laser. Boom. <laughs> Took him out. Alright. Take a pretty good turn. Just the things that I'd like to move her down to get into the shield. Some missiles going after her. Seven. Wow. Ten intercepted. Don't worry, I'm still a -okay. 
Nice, the flak. Did we upgrade flak? I don't think we did. So that was just super lucky. I mean, we're still intercepting a ton. Take some laser damage. More damage, but I think the shield is doing good work. This battle is much easier than the last one. Wait, what's that? Oh, we just straight up intercepted it. That looked like a nuke. So I guess the missiles from the uh, the base are just really easy to intercept. Lasers take damage. Okay, so yes, Captain. Please don't move me too far away, Captain. That was an accident. I wanted to click off of you and actually move you. So we're gonna do this first. Yes, Captain. Then we are going to uh shut down these shields, and then we're gonna laser the base. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have ten left. So what? We need a couple more to get more use. So we're gonna go. move forward. Go, go, go. We're gonna laser. They have five. Like these guys are what we want to kill. I'm a fire. Well, he'll die next turn. How much does it cost for the uh, full forward command? So we should be intercepting like a bunch. Yeah. Our hole is beginning to fracture. Yeah, so these missiles are super easy to intercept. Skip the animation. Sections 32, 16, and 2 have been compromised. We only intercepted 6 of those that time though. Lasers. Sections 32, 60, and 2 have been okay, we'll heal. Sections 32, 60, and 2 have been compromised. The same <laughs> sections continually apparently get compromised. On deck zero. Okay, fine. On deck zero. Okay, so yes, we okay. want to repair you. Uh, that's all you can do. Okay, I almost clicked end turn again. Um, so... Oh, it shows the max damage. I didn't even notice this. I want to take advantage, but I shouldn't. Forward and onward. So, we're gonna laser this guy, because he'll die. Okay. This is gonna do 220. So I can't take out anyone I'm not actually that worried about these little mechs, so we'll just keep shooting this. Some more damage. I do have a little bit. So we'll try for this. See if we can... Yeah. Okay, so that means he'll die next turn now. Got a shield generator's back, that's fine. So, she will shoot him. We're gonna repair again. With, uh... With support lady here. Like, the ship is just super tanking it. 
So which is why we probably want to increase. We want to get those shield generators on the ship. Like that's what we want. Cause like that's that's good right there. Okay. So first, I mean, yes, Captain? we want to repair. That's all she could do. So Black you're gonna laser Captain. him. That'll kill him. I like the flip up laser guns. Cool. Boom. So he's gone. So that's the only one left. Um, we could missile. Oh, it's 400 damage. So we can missile it. So let's do that. That well, should kill. Of course not. Um, good. we're gonna. Laser? We could, uh, we could try to, like, pulse laser. Oh. I kind of thought that pulse lasers were kind of like the assault, laser assaults. So kind of weak. But they're actually pretty strong. So I could, uh, missile this, deal 500 damage. One intercepted, four intercepted. 75 damage. Not the best. Um, I think it might have been better to laser them. 14 armor. Um, and then we could assault you. Kill him. Boom. And, and, we still have enough do that. Oh, that was cool. The attack is successful. Okay. Enter. Lasers. I really like. I think a shield on the ship would be amazing. I want to save up the money for that. Still Took a little bit of damage, but not a big deal. Uh, not this time, Cosette. Actually, I skipped the first one. Uh, we're here to end where your activities in this sector. I hear a bold one, but naive. Is this more sport? Yeah. The enemy has brought in reinforcements. Okay. Let's go get him. Let's move forward. Go, go, go. So this does two hundred. Just two forty. So we might pulse laser this guy. We can do it twice. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I did it. Oh no, we can only do it once? What? We only have 30. I thought we had... Oh, we moved, of course. I'm dumb. Uh, we can still assault, though. Clear the road. That came did from. not kill him, but we will kill him with this. So we'll move up. Also move up with you. Repair. Okay. So we have 80 left. So I could do one of the each. So we're we'll assault you, which will kill it. Then we'll pulse you because you're out of the shoot. So next turn, the hit is solid, Captain. we're going to start focusing on the base. So we're going to take out the shields and the, oh my god, look at all the support that came in. I did not notice that. So, we don't have any orders. Um, okay, well. Can they hit from over there? We're going to shoot that down. Zero intercepted, zero intercepted. How much does this do? That was a lot. Okay, we're gonna shoot this one down. Yeah. Okay, good. And then just normal missiles. Okay, you just have five of them. Just completely missed. 
I think we only shot five missiles. Miss. Miss. I guess they're just so far, like they have, they're at such range. So I think we need to kill this base because when the, all of these mechs get into range, like that's bad. Like, we need to end this. We can't realistically keep doing this. What do you need, Captain? Let's pulse this. And again. I have a 60% chance to hit. Okay, hit. Have a taste of this. Okay, that was good. Fifth- what? I guess I don't really understand the- how the damage works quite yet. Um, repair. I've been taking a lot of damage. Okay, so if we had been a little bit smarter and saved the mega cannon, we could have- we could snipe it out right now. We did not, however. So it still has mega armor. So we should probably just laser it. Okay, I guess my, with the reason that those, those other pulse lasers on her didn't do well is because of this cannot but cannot pierce armor thing at the end there. So that's bad. Let's laser. I'm not sure how much it's gonna do. But let's find out. We just need to start chipping. How much is that? 133? But that will start chipping away at the armor. Now it's got 5... Yeah, now it's got 15 armor. Should be a... We'll assault this guy, because we want to take him out. Ugh, really? That's... That hurts. That hurts inside. Okay. Next turn might be a little bad. So, a bunch of missiles, skip them animation, 50 damage. Nothing. Then lasers missed. Lasers hit for 60. Miss. Miss again. I think the fact that they're at such long range is really help saving us right now. Which is why we're kind of on a timer to kill this base before all the reinforcements get there. Ninety-five damage. Ninety-two. Okay, she's gonna need the heal. Alright. Something scanned, Captain? No, I need that healed. Okay. What do you need, Captain? Alright, so we need to kill... We need to kill that 22 guy, because he's just sitting there. Have a taste of this. Please die. Okay. Justin, Boom. Sir. Dead. So that's less damage. Um, so we're gonna just attack this. Be nice to get rid of those shields, but I can't really do anything about that right now. Okay. I'd like to move in closer to make this more accurate, but don't really have that kind of option right now. So... Shoot. Okay, can't quite kill it yet. It's not in kill range. Um, 
57 on that. 100, but mitigated by shields and armor. Should we go for the guaranteed damage? Or... The riskier shot. That's gonna do more damage. Let's... Let's go for the slightly riskier shot. Because I feel like this pulse is gonna do almost nothing. We hit? Okay, that did nothing either. <laughs> Maybe the pulse was... No, but the pulse was also super mitigated by shields, so... Probably all we were gonna be able to get out of that. Alright. Basically, I need a turn where... I think I could burst it down in one turn. Because then I could not heal, and instead take the shields down. Still holding strong. And then focus just everything on the base. But if I do that, I need to be sure that I can kill... Oh, they missed. Okay. Uh, I need to be sure I can kill, because otherwise I won't have healed and someone will die. No idea if it's there's permadeath in this, but I don't really want that. Like, they do a lot of damage. Uh, should I go for the shutoff of the shields? It feels like it's absorbing a lot of, a lot of damage that we could shut off. Okay. You, I don't even, uh, uh, something with an A, your name, I don't remember, but you might die. If we don't kill, you might die. Is this worth it? I'm shutting down the enemy's Too late, I did it. Do I have any missiles on anybody? I think I fired them all. The sun rider is at your disposal, Captain. Blackjack, good to go. Yeah, I did, so there's no point in flacking off. Okay. So... Well, laser and assault. Laser. It's totally worth it. We're gonna kill it. Easily kill it. Assault. Just 15 damage. And then... Laser. Boom. Okay, was that it? Mission over? Yeah. Man, look at all that money. Cash money. Um, all these surrendered. Got a bunch of money from that. Repair costs, only 92. Okay. Must say, Captain, I'm impressed. Perhaps we do stand a chance against Pact after all. Of course you do, Ava. This is only the beginning of our story. I look forward to seeing how it'll continue. Uh, the girls should be in the hangar. You should go celebrate with them. I can't do research, which is what I really wanted to do. Oh, but I could buy the shields now, can't I? I want this. Like, I feel like this is... Really, really useful. It would cut it, that it's super expensive, but man, it does that sound amazing. That also sounds pretty good. But shield, boom, bought it. It's done, no going back. We bought it. Okay, so we need to celebrate with the peeps. We're gonna save real fast. Uh, we did it, Captain. We did it. The Pirate's Nest is history. As promised, I'll be glad to join you aboard the Sunrider. If you've got a war against Pact, then sign me up. Good to hear that. Uh, Pact's empire is still getting stronger with each day. We'll need all the help we can get if we're going to stop them. Understood, Captain. Asaga, last name, at your service. What do you think is going to happen to those pirates? Without the pirate's nest, their activities in the sector are practically finished, but I don't think we've seen the last of them yet. 
They have probably retreated deeper into uncolonized space to recoup and rebuild their fleet. Then they'll probably come back for revenge. Sounds like we made some enemies today. Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure we'll be able to take care of them if they ever decide to come back. It's going to happen with Chigara. Oh, you should talk to her about that. I think she wanted to speak to you anyways. Uh, let's move on. We need to assign you to a... Uh, we need to assign you... Yeah, we need to assign you a room on the Sunrider. I'm looking forward to a bed. It gets so uncomfortable sleeping on the blackjack. When you're making her sleep in the blackjack, like, could you just give her a guest room? Uh, Ava can help you get moved in. Oh, by the way, I think Shigaras wanted to talk to you. Yeah, I know. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, Captain, I'm back. Oh, she doesn't say Captain. She says Captain. Oh, welcome back, Shigara. You did good out there. You you did well. Well, you also, you also did good. We killed pirates. That's doing good. Hey, really? I wonder. What are your plans now? Well, I guess with the saga gone, it's going to get more lonely. And business hasn't been so good at the bakery either. You should join us on the Sunrider too. We could use an extra pilot like you. Yeah, I, I need your shield, please. Yeah, that's allowed. Of course it is. I'm the captain. I can do anything I want. Well, I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? In that case, I'll be in your care from now on, Captain. Welcome to the Sunrider, Shakara. Uh, I've got to go now. Oh, I've got to go now. You can speak to Ava if you have problems moving in. Understood, Captain. I look forward to working with you. Sunrider. Weird picture, still background. Begin Captain's log. <laughs> it's been a two weeks. It's been two weeks since we took down Cossette's base in the asteroids. Since then, we've been chasing down minor criminals and undertaking hit and run attacks on packed supply lines. Are we going to start with extra money because of that? Or is it going to assume that we also spent all that money we made? Despite our efforts, Pax invasions of the neutral room has continued unabated for one ship. No surprise. Uh, six more governments have voluntarily joined Pax and two more have been conquered. Pax's war machine has been indiscriminate. Uh indiscriminate uh, slaughtering both civilians and combat combatants alike in the mere in in the mere months since sarah millions more innocents have been murdered unless something is done the day when pact rules the entire neutral rim appears to be fast approaching come in captain we've received an enc encrypted transmission transmission where from it's from the solar alliance admiral harold admiral harold gray is interested in speaking to you an audience with the Admiral, huh? I didn't realize you were so important already. I've added the Admiral's line to your FTL trans transponder. You can patch him through now. Alright, let's hear what the Admiral wants with us. Greetings, Captain of the Sunrider. I am Admiral Gray of the Alliance Space Force. This is Captain Kato Shields of the Sarah Space Force. The Sarah Space, yeah. Uh, this, is my, uh, this is my first officer, Ava Crescentia. What would the Admiral of the Solar Alliance want with us? You must have my uh, condolences for the loss of your great planet. It pains me to hear that another neutral world has fallen into the Pact war machine. Pact must be stopped at all costs, Admiral. I'm certain of this. I understand you've been operating as a freelancer since your government's fall. I've got a certain proposal that you might be interested in. You've got my attention. Another interesting client. Being a mercenary armed with an assault carrier sure helps get business. Uh, our diplomats have been sent on a mission to the neutral world of Versta to convince its people to join the Alliance for quite some time. Unfortunately, it does not seem like the mission was successful, and a packed invasion fleet is rapidly approaching, approaching the world. I need you to go in in there and get our men out before the packed fleet finds them and kills them. Of course, I will see to it that you and your crew are rewarded for your efforts. Oh, I thought it was us agreeing with the... Okay. Uh, why do you need us? Surely the Alliance must have other ships that... I'm not going to question that. Maybe I should. Are the diplomats high-ranking government officials? Why do you need to them protected so much? Is there really no hope of getting versus to join the Alliance? You have a deal. Why us? Unfortunately, because of the breakdown and talks, our military vessels are forbidden to enter versus to space. It is too dangerous getting the diplomats out without an armed escort, so you had no choice but to resort to an unaligned vessel like the Sunrider. Are the diplomats high-ranking officials? Not per se, but an execution of our diplomats by pact will be viewed by my government as an act of war. And the Alliance will have no choice but to declare war on Pact. Well, isn't that, that a good thing? I've been ordered by President Alith himself that an intergalactic war with Pact over a minor neutral rim world would be an unacceptable outcome. They should? Yeah, 
It feels like just waiting for them to take more terror. We should go for more now. A matter for politicians to decide, unfortunately. A uh, matter for politicians to decide, unfortunately. Uh, the president has ordered that we prevent an intergalactic war. So those are your directives. That's fine, I guess. Uh, you have a deal. Good. My staff have already mailed your first officer with the details. You have your orders, Sunrider. I expect results. Admiral Gray out. A mission from the Alliance. Can't say I was expecting that. Uh, times like this, uh, almost everyone wants a hired gun, especially if you happen to have a very big gun. At this rate, we might see a new golden age of privateering. We might want to swap out your uniform with something more eye-catching then. Do you have a pirate commander design yet? No. And she's not impressed. Tell me more about the situation between the Alliance and Pact. What do you want to know? Uh, tell me more about the Alliance. The Solar Alliance is the current powerhouse of the galaxy. It's actually a military, economic, and research alliance between the planet of Solaris and numerous other worlds. I'm guessing Solaris is Earth. It doesn't sound like everyone wants to join the Alliance, though. Some planets simply we wish to left. Bleh. Some planets simply wish to be left alone. The planets that make up the neutral rim are too far from Solaris and have so far avoided joining the Alliance. Sarah was one of those planets. Still, isn't the Alliance a democracy? What's so bad about it? A space democracy is a difficult thing to maintain. A single politician might need to represent over a billion citizens. Recently, political deadlock has characterized the Alliance. The United Universalist Party in the Solar Congress wishes to take the war path against Pact. Meanwhile, the Progress Party wishes a negotiated settlement. Neither party has managed to get anything done because of their irreconcilable differences. President Elyth has avoided war with the Pact at all costs, even though Pact continues to swallow up most of the neutral rim. The Alliance has done nothing about it. Tell me more about the Pact. Pact, short for the People's Alliance for Common Treatment, okay, it feels like this was a backronym, uh, was originally an independence movement which started at New Eden against the New Empire. Uh, New Eden was a paradise planet which was rich in various invaluable resources. However, the rulers of the New Empire hoarded the planet's riches for themselves while the masses lived in poverty. Eventually, division and wealth reached a critical point and the people of New Eden declared a revolution against their, rule their own rulers. If they're an independence movement, then why are they trying to take over the galaxy now? The independence movement went horribly wrong shortly after Pact overthrew the New Empire. Extreme nationalism and paranoia set in. So then what happened? A mysterious figure known as Arcadius took power. Uh, much about him is shrouded in mystery. He appears behind a mask at all times and speaks only through a computer. During the War of Independence, he was a heroic fi uh, figure who freed his people. But after he took power, he became a different man. Almost as if he was a different person. Like... If he never showed his face and talked through a computer. Pretty easy to imagine. Came to power. Gets assassinated. Replaced by evil second in command or, you know, whoever. We'll see. Arcadius wielded the nationalism and pa the paranoia of his people and led them on a war path. Beginning Pact's rapid expansion. You can see that today. As Pact, uh, Pact conquers every planet in the neutral rim one by one. Nobody really knows when they're going to stop. Dance Pact aren't at war yet? Yeah, we we already know that. Should I say anyway, just in case there's more information? Sure. No, but I wouldn't bet on that lasting. War between the two powers is all but inevitable, I would say. What makes you say that? So far, Pact has only been hitting neutral rim planets that are far away from Solaris. Uh, eventually, though, the entire neutral rim is going to belong to Pact. And then who's Pact going to attack next? All right, see your point. Thanks for the history lesson. That's all I needed to know. Doesn't sound like the Admiral's a fan of his own government. Hmm, I get the same I get the same feeling as well. So far, the President of the Alliance has been avoiding war with Pact at all costs, but my sense is that the military establishment inside the Alliance is already gearing up for a war. That makes sense. Pact intends to take over the galaxy one way or another. It's only a matter of time until the Alliance will be forced into the fight. Okay, so, well, now we know our next step. Let's get underway to Versta. Understood, Captain. Can I, can I research? Yeah, okay, good. I can research first. Research. research Alright. So we just got shields. I only have 34 bucks, though. Sorry, 344 bucks. 
But, yeah. Shield power, shield range. Ooh, it's expensive. I want to save for this, though. Like, that's... Boosting that, I like a lot. Because it, it feels like we get hit most with... Uh, get hit most with the uh, laser attacks. Because by the time they're close in, we can just blast them anyway. Okay. So I want to... I can't afford that. I could afford kinetic accuracy. Or reducing kinetic cost. See, that seems good. Because we go from 66 down to 63... Oh, and the assault would go down to 27. Hull plating for health. Also, very good. Oh, but this. And that. Boom. Alright. Maybe I should also be spending money on these guys. <laughs> it's probably a good idea, isn't it? Uh, but, like, upgrading the ship is just so fun. Okay, so I think... Next big batch of money we'll put into the this mech. Maybe health? Oh, can we uh, actually... The energy reactor on her would be really good to boost. It's expensive, but... Like, getting... Being able to do more... Be able, being able to repair and do something else? Because right now, repairing sucks up all of the AP for that turn. Basically. I think she can move as well. Oh, we also boost the shield power. That's good. Man. Thank I want you, more Captain. money. Come again soon. Uh anything new here? So we still have the blackjack thruster upgrades. At some warhead ammo. Oh, those things are rockets. Those those things that you shoot, they shoot one of them, shoot them down. Those are rockets. Okay. Are there any side missions? This is still nothing. It's kind of weird how the, like you can see the picture, <laughs> you can see the edge of the picture come in. Um, I mean it's a free game. I I didn't mention this at the start either. This game is free, so that's one of the reasons I'm playing it. Like that's pretty cool. Like this game is pretty, pretty good for a free game. I gotta say. Okay, so this, the only thing we can do right here is rescue the diplomats, which is the main mission. Nothing anywhere else. No, okay. Um, but I think I want to save and go to the restroom and nonsense like that first. It's kind of weird how I can't save on this map, on this Welcome screen. I can't save on this screen either. And I'm pretty sure I can't save on this. So we have to actually begin this mission. Go ahead and save here. Okay, so I think I'm going to take a break. Uh, go to the restroom. Maybe have a little little snack. And watching should do likewise. Um, I'll be back in a little bit to uh, rescue these diplomats. Uh, so thank you for watching. Um, as always, uh, all of these streams will be up on YouTube, um, as well as in the VODs for Twitch. But if anything like me and hate Twitch's VOD system, I've put them up on YouTube as well. Uh, so you can always go back and watch past streams that you've missed. Um, alright, thank you for watching. Goodbye.